Alrighty folks, today we're going to program the 5900S filter valve. When you plug the valve in, you're going to see a C20 something. It's the computer revision date. It might change over time. And very quickly it'll change between a couple things. Don't press any buttons for a few seconds. Wait until it's going back and forth between the clock time and the number of days that are remaining until the next time the unit backwashes. So to go ahead and program it, let's first program the clock time. And when you press the menu enter button and release it, all the clock time starts flashing. So it says 115 right now. Let's go ahead and change it to 130. So we'll press the set change button. The fives start blinking on and off. And now we can poke the set change button again and go up to the zero for our 130. Press the menu enter, goes over to the next digit. Press the set change button. There's your 30. Over to the next one, we'll leave the one alone. And now we've got the clock time set at 130. When you press the menu enter button again with all of it flashing, then it's going to ask you to choose AM or PM. We'll go with PM. I was hitting the set change to make, to make it go back and forth. Hit the menu enter once you got it where you like it. And now it goes to the number of days between backwashes. So if you have a, a, a neutralizer or a carbon filter, you probably have this say 06. If you have an iron filter, it probably wants to be 04. In other words, uh, uh, carbon and uh, calcite backwash about once a week and an iron filter backwash is about twice a week. So you've got your value there. You hit it one more time and now we're back to the clock time and the number of days between regeneration. To set the, ste the cycle steps, I'm going to press and hold both buttons and after several seconds it's going to go R12A. So what time do you want it to backwash at? Generally you want it to backwash when nobody's using water and when no other filters are going off at the same time. Uh, traditional uh, kind of average time to do that is AM in the morning and at 2 o'clock so now we got it at 2 a.m. is when it's going to backwash. So now we've set the backwash time to 2, day, 2, 2 a.m. and it'll backwash every four days. The first cycle step is 10 minutes. That's how much you want it for. That's what the valve comes pre-programmed to, so you rarely will have to change that. The next step is five minutes. It's a rest cycle. It's The valve isn't doing anything during there. It's just waiting after, after we agitated it during the backwash. We're giving it a few minutes to settle back down again. And then we go to the third and the final cycle, which is rapid rinse. We don't need 10 minutes on it. We only need six. So we'll press the set change button. And now just the ones place is flashing. Poke the set change button again until we get to the number six. And then we've got the six menu enter. Now we need to change the one to a zero. It's flashing. Poke the set change button. And we're at zero. Poke it all. Three, zero, six. That's what we want and press the menu enter button. This is the Bluetooth enabled. If you go on online with your uh, iPad or your iPhone, you can download the legacy app and then you can read all of this digital information remotely from your uh, uh, smartphone or your iPad. And uh, BE1 means Bluetooth enabled and one means it's on. It doesn't have to be off if you're not using it. You just leave it on in any event. And then Bluetooth phone protocol, that's where you enter in your, uh, uh, your four digit code to get into it. You'd see the information for that on the legacy app and then one more time get you back out so now we have completely programmed the filter valve thanks a lot folks